Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back for another one of our matches here today. We are at home against uh, Qingdao Football Club, and uh, we should be able to win this one pretty easily. They are, I believe, 18th in the league, and we, of course, have already uh, clinched uh, our championship, clinched promotion, and uh, we're just fighting to see if we can get that goal differential above 200. So including this match, we have four matches left in the season, after which we have the Chinese FA Cup uh, final, which is going to be big. We want to make sure that we get to that one on a uh, good and positive note, and uh, we'll see if we can do that. One of the problems that we have, as you can see from the uh, stadium crowd, is that we just don't have anybody in attendance. Nobody seems to care about coming to our matches anymore now that we've won everything. Um, and, um, I mean, I'm not entirely sure that I can blame them for that, but uh, we have a lot of young players that we're trying to give time to, and you kind of hope that they would have they would show at least some support for them. So, um, I don't know. You can't force people to come, I guess. Hall goes over to Pak Myung Song. Pak Myung Song moves forward over to Manta, who has a shot from point blank range that is saved by the Qingdao FC goalkeeper. And uh, we have a corner just like that. And here is uh, Joao Victor taking the corner, looking for Pak Myung Song. Can't quite find him. And that one is moved back out. And uh, it looks like it's going to uh, be another highlight here as we look at this replay really quickly. Manta had it probably from not the best angle in the world. Um, and uh, Qingdao FC, the uh, goaltender who is uh, Zheng Nan, um, was, uh, I think, really lucky to get uh, his foot on top of that one. And uh, they have the ball here, and uh, we better be careful we don't give up a goal. Sure, Jiayan with a pass back to uh, Li Changyi, the uh, goaltender, and uh, that was a little bit, a little bit dangerous. Here's Monta again, and he's got his first goal of the, or of the uh, match, not, not of the season. That's his eighth of our uh, season so far. And uh, it doesn't get much easier than that. And that puts our goal differential up to 199. And, I mean, this was an excellent pass from Delphi, just uh, threading the needle there. And uh, Muanta, I mean, he doesn't even make a move. And the uh, goaltender slips and falls and looks really bad. And, um, I mean, we were always going to score that one. And uh, we are attacking again right away. E. Jin Young now has it. E. Jin Young brings it forward slightly, moves back to Yen Kun. Yen Kun, one of the uh, young players we're giving time to, over to Shu Jiang, who's 16, over to Jubin, his, um, his uh, compatriot of the same age. There's a shot, doesn't go anywhere. It's back to Montag, over to Pak Myung Song now. Knocks that one up, looking for Ravaglia, I suppose, but um, Ravaglia is not quite going to be able to get his head onto that one, unfortunately, and um, it ends up being with uh, Qingdao FC. Now it's Yen Kun starting it up again, over to Pak Myung Song. Pak Myung Song looks forward, North Korean, uh, right back, moves forward over to Delphi, and Delphi has a wild shot. I'm not sure if that was a shot or a cross, and it ends up going nowhere. Delphi's playing uh, in that right back, or in that right uh, attacking uh, winger position again, and he prefers to be a striker, as you can see. Lee Jin Young has it now, moves back to Zhao Victor, and uh, that ends up almost being a goal for, I'm not sure who that was, um, the uh, Chino FC defender is able to get ahead onto that one, saving it from going over. And we're just the one goal away from getting the uh, goal differential up to 200. So we'll see if we can do it here. Pak Myung Song wins that one back easily in the air over to Delphi, back to Hall. Over to Jubin now. And Jubin, I think, is probably offside. He scores the goal. It's his fifth goal of the season. And um, it looks like they are going to give that one in the end. And uh, that is the uh, goal differential is now up to 200. And Jubin, who's 16 years old and who is homegrown, is just an incredible player. He had a hat trick in our last uh, match, and he's just continued to score like crazy. I mean, this kid is incredible, and we are going to keep playing him as we move forward. Absolutely. Um, and uh, he's offside. It's not him who's offside here, actually. It is uh, Ravagli who's offside. doesn't let me click and, and see. It's uh, Rovaglia, I'm pretty sure, who was offside on that play, and uh, it was uh, given anyway. Um, we're pretty lucky there. That was clearly offside. Joao Victor has the free kick and ends up kicking it to nowhere and to nothing. Uh, give the ball back to Jubin, man. I mean, he's the one who's hot. He's got the uh, hot foot. And uh, it is the uh, other team now that has the attack, and uh, they move forward slightly. It's Pak Myung Song, though, who takes it away over to Delphi, down to Muanta. Muanta moves forward to Ravagli. He's going to score this one. Once Pietro gets that ball in that area, you know he's going to score no matter what, and um, he was able to score that one. The uh, commentary is telling us that uh, Jung Nan, the uh, goalkeeper for Chindo FC, could have done better there at his post. I'm not sure that there's anything he could have done about this, honestly. I mean, if he stays back, Ravagli is going to score anyway. 
Um, I mean, he's he's in no man's land. You know, there's there's really no way that he can uh, he can play that one. You go forward, you get beat. You go backwards, you're going to get beat anyway. So, I mean, it really is a problem with the the Chindo FC uh, defense that um, played that one completely incorrectly. Joao Victor now takes this up himself over to Eugene Young. Eugene Young moves forward to Avaglia, and there's the pass into Delphi. Delphi scores that one from range. Easy goal for Delphi, number 17 of the season. But remember, he's a Iranian striker who was um, with his Iranian team up until. January, so I'm not sure how many of those goals actually have come for us. Um, but I mean, this is this is pretty pretty easy goal for him from range. And Jungnan, the goalkeeper, looks like um, it looks like he's scared. I mean, I'm not sure what kind of goalkeeping that was. He just sort of falls on the ground and kind of you know it gets into the fetal position there a little bit. Four nothing MBN FC, and uh, just about 30 minutes into this one, and you kind of know where this match is heading. And um, of course, that's the reason why um, we only have about 12,000 people here in attendance. Um, because everybody knew from the very beginning where this one was going to go. Here's Jubin with a free kick. Let's see if he can score from this. And um, he has a shot on goal, and that one goes just above and wide, unfortunately. But, uh, boy, he sure looks dangerous from those uh, set pieces. Um, everybody having a good game so far. There's the uh, kick um, from uh, Jungnan, and uh, Qingdao FC is able to uh, pull away with this one. And uh, I'm wondering if they're going to get a shot on goal here in this highlight. It's uh, Jiang Ye looking for Tang Yang who um, is able to bring it in front of our defense. And Shu Jiang, um, our uh, defender, who all the coaches say is not good enough for this level, is able to block the shot. They say he's not good enough, but um, I disagree. I think he's a pretty good player, um, and we're going to keep starting him. And uh, Li Chang is able to run around and uh, pick off that uh, corner. And, uh, I mean, this was a pretty good play. Let's see if we can see what happens here when Shu Jiang gets in front of this shot. And he just runs straight down and is able to get his leg onto it. And um, I'm not sure if the uh, XG in the game really rewards him much for that. I mean, XG won't. I don't think that his rating will reward him much for that at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, his rating is 6.9. But, um, you know, that's kind of what we want him to do as a uh, defender. You know, it's okay if he's not going to score a whole ton of goals. And he has scored for us. You know, um, what we really want to see him do is stuff like that. And uh, the pass over to Monta, unfortunately, not doesn't go quite anywhere. And that's the end of that highlight. And uh, let's see if we can score some more. Rovaglia with the throw over to Hall. Back to Rovaglia. Moves it laterally forward. Uh, then pushes it back to Shu Jiang, who takes it. Passes to Pak Myung-sung. Pak Myung-sung takes it forward, penetrates, and uh, is dispossessed over to Yi Jingyong now, over to Hall. And uh, Hall now um, moves forward, and he's fouled in the penalty area by Joe Shuo, and that was kind of a ridiculous foul. That was a ridiculous foul. He didn't need to do that at all. He gets the uh, deserved yellow card, and it's going to be probably Delphi taking this. Let's see here. Uh, no, it's Monta who takes this penalty. And he scores for a second goal of the match. It's 5 nothing NBN FC. And uh, we'll see if Monta ends up with a hat trick here. And, um, I mean, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Jungnan looks pretty bad <laughs> there as a, a goalkeeper and uh, having a really poor game. Um, everybody there you can see for uh, Qingdao FC is not uh, having the best of times. Monta now looking for Eugene Young, can't quite get the pass across. They're looking for uh, Joshua there, and uh, it's not happening. Shu Jiang takes it over to Eugene Young. Eugene Young moves forward now to uh, Victor on the side. That almost goes out for a throw. Victor is able to save it, then moves back again to Shu Jiang. We maintain our control and possession over to Eugene Young now. Eugene Young over to Yen Kun. Yen Kun over to Hall. Hall penetrates slowly. And uh, adds a little bit of speed, looking for Rovaglia there for the header, and Rovaglia does score that header for number 29 of the season. I think I was saying just the other day that uh, I think it was uh, Para who was trying those headers and wasn't really getting much onto it. Uh, Pietro Rovaglia has worked really, really hard in his heading, and you can see the payoff here. I mean, this is excellent. This is very well done. He beats the uh, defender, and the uh, goalkeeper, Jungnan, looks absolutely helpless. 6 nothing MBN FC. Both of our um, strikers have two goals in this match, and we have a lot of guys who can score a lot of goals and who are ready to score a lot of goals. There are some potential uh, calls for offside there, but um, they fall on deaf ears. And uh, it's Tang Yang now for Qingdao FC, who has a uh, little bit of an attacking move over to Bifen, and Joao Victor is able to get around onto that, and uh, Ju Bin has it now. Ju Bin moves forward all alone, all by himself, and uh, gets across, um, across there, looking for Delphi, couldn't find him. Delphi does grab it over to Hall. 
over to Park Myung Song now. Park Myung Song looking for a cross, looking for one. It crosses it backwards to Delphi, and then it's Hall with a shot. Lee Jin Young then takes a shot first time, and that hits off of somebody and is out for another corner. So we're we have another scoring opportunity here, just six, uh, less than sixty minutes into the match, and uh, that one unfortunately um, does not find anybody's head for us, and that is the end of that highlight. Um, everybody having a good game, I suppose, except for Yen Kwon, um, who I think is probably also playing well. He's just not doing much offensively for us, and we don't really need him to do so. Nobody's tired, so we just leave him in. Uh, Jubin misses his second uh, goal, just hitting the uh, top crossbar, and uh, Jungnan, the uh, goaltender for Chindo FC, looked like he had no idea exactly what was going on there anyway. Um, I mean, it's been that sort of match so far. Lots and lots of attacking options for us. Lots of uh, good play. Hall wins it off of the uh, Qingdao player, like um, taking candy from a baby over to Monta now, and then to Ravagli, who's got his, uh, is that his hat trick? I think it is. Uh, yes, it is his hat trick, and um, that's number 30 of the season, and he's um, looking to challenge uh, Luciano Parra for uh, number one in the uh, uh, league. And, I mean, this one's almost the laughter of a goal. Uh, Ravaglia showing Monta what to do when you're right in front of the goaltender. Instead of hitting it right at the goalie, he hits it just right to the side. And Jungnan, I mean, he's just having a bad, bad match. He hasn't been able to stop anything that's been coming his way. And uh, let's see what happens here. Joao Victor able to get that one uh, cleared out to Ravaglia. Back to Joao Victor. We have a 7 0 lead, and we're attacking again. Over to Ravaglia, who I think is offside. Back to Victor, no flag up, over to Ravagli, over to Hall now, and Hall takes a shot, and uh, that one's deflected off for a corner. Kind of surprised they didn't call offside there on Ravaglia, um, which usually the uh, game will pick up on, but um, I don't know, we didn't see much of a highlight, and that was um, a little flick of the head by Yen Kwon. I don't think he actually missed that and came within inches of being a goal, so uh, we almost had number eight there. Joao Victor then wins this ball. And uh, it's taken off of him in the end, and uh, looks like it's a race for it. Hotao is going to get over to it and uh, kick sort of a desperation cross across, and that one ends up as a shot sort of on goal that goes high and wide, luckily for Li Changyi, who was kind of out of position. And we get the ball back, and Yan Kun has it slowly up the hall, back to Pak Myung Tsung, over to Delphi now. Delphi forward looking for Jubin. Jubin doesn't quite have the acceleration to get onto that one, but ends up winning it in the end. He dives out uh, out of the way of a tackle over to Delphi for a shot, and that one hits off the top crossbar. And Ravaglia is there to pick up the uh, pick up the garbage and get number four of the game for him. And uh, man, Qingdao FC's defense looks awful here. I mean, so Jubin's able to get past that tackle, wins it forward, has this crazy cross to Delphi that just barely hits off of that top crossbar. And Ravaglia is just standing there wide open all alone, four men behind him, and scores his fourth goal of the game. He has the 10.0. We have two guys with the 10.0 so far in this one. And uh, this is a laughter. 8 nothing. Yen FC. Yen Kun over to Hall. Hall looks forward, finding Jubin now. Jubin over to Monta, and he just barely misses his hat trick there. And uh, that should have been a goal. Yi Jin Young now back to Yen Kun over to Pak Myung Song. That ends the highlight. Uh, that should have been a goal there uh, by Monta. I'm not quite sure how he misses this one. I mean, this is excellent, excellent play by uh, Jubin. And uh, I mean, it's just a bad angle. That's all there is to it. You know, if that if Monta takes that maybe like two feet more to uh, his uh, right side, that's easily a goal. Pak Myung Song now over to Yen Kun. Yen Kun back to Yi Jin Young over to Hall to Yi Jin Young again, over to Jubin, just shoot, baby. Uh, now, he does take a shot, but uh, he waits a little bit too long for it, and uh, there's a foul by Joel Victor, almost gets himself sent off there. That was that was kind of ridiculous, didn't need to happen. I mean, we're up 8 to nothing. There's no need to foul anybody at this point. Um, and uh, just let them do what they're going to do. It's Tren Kun over to Shen Jia Lin, who's offside. And uh, Li Changyi now, and we're getting close to the final kick of the match. I guess we can wait and see if we get a ninth. I mean, 8 nothing is a bit of an embarrassment, I think, for Qingdao FC. And um, I bet we have a bunch of fans who uh, probably wish that they came to this one. This has been quite a performance and gives you an idea of what to expect as we move forward. Shu Jiang now with it, looking forward, finds Jubin. 
Jubin over to Delphi. Can't quite find him. Rovaglia now has it. Montez kind of fouled, um, but there's no call. Not enough to uh, warrant the uh, whistle. We'll find Monta again over to Rovaglia again for number five of the game. <laughs> That's called offsides, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a that's an absolute laughter for us. I mean, you just look at this, and it's just it's just not fair. Yeah, you can see we have one, two, three, four players offside, which is how we were able to get this ball in this ridiculous position. So yeah, I mean, it's it's clearly clearly offside, but um, it's all right. Jubin is tired. He's losing headers back and forth. I should be taking him off, but we'll just leave him on. We need the kid to have a little bit more playing time. And uh, I mean, we've already won everything. We've won this match clearly. We'll do what we have to do. 8 nothing's the final score. Yummy and FC win this one again. I hope that you're having a good day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Hopefully this cold will be gone. Talk to you then. Bye.